I recently read The Art of Learning by Josh Waitzkin. Josh Waitzkin has excelled at two very different disciplines, chess and the martial art of Tai Chi push hands. Josh started playing chess at the age of six and earned the title International Master at age 16. Then at age 21, Josh transitioned away from chess and set his sights on Tai Chi push hands. Seven years later, Josh won the Tai Chi push hands world championship title in Taiwan, an unprecedented feat for an American outsider. Josh's quick rise to the top of the Tai Chi push hands world was largely due to the learning principles that Josh internalized while learning chess. You and I can use these same universal learning principles to accelerate the development of a skill and perform at the highest level in any discipline. Universal learning principle number one, feel the fundamentals. Josh didn't start learning chess by starting with all 32 pieces on the board. Instead, his teacher started by clearing the board so that it was just the king and the pawn against the king. He got a feel for how these simple pieces moved and played with many different variations until the pawn and king felt comfortable. Then he added a few more pawns and the knight and focused solely on the knight's movements and basic knight principles, like looking for a double attack. That is, attacking two pieces at one time, like a king and a pawn. After the knight's movements felt natural to him, he moved on to the bishop, then the rook, then the queen. He focused on each piece until he developed an intuitive feel for their value. By initially going slow and getting a feel for the fundamentals, he could pick up more advanced concepts quicker, which helped him shoot past most beginner players. To get a feel for the fundamentals of any skill, focus on one core component and practice simple variations, like Josh practiced different chess positions with the knight. Don't stop until that component feels natural or the movement you're practicing feels effortless. Only then start laying on more complexity. In the book, Josh says, a figure skater should begin with the fundamentals of gliding along the ice, turning, and skating backwards with deepening relaxation. Then step by step, more and more complicated maneuvers can be absorbed while she maintains the sense of ease that was initially experienced within the simplest skill set. Think of feeling the fundamentals like building a brick wall. The wall represents the skill you're trying to develop. The bottom layer of bricks represent the fundamental components of a skill, and the mortar between the bricks is the intuitive feel that you have for each component. If you just stack bricks on top of one another, without applying the mortar, and without giving it enough time to dry, your wall will have a weak foundation, and the bricks that you add on top of your foundation will become shaky, and the height of your wall will be severely restricted. Universal learning principle number two, stay true to your style. Once you've internalized the basics, there's not one right way to master a skill, but there is a wrong way, and that's not being true to yourself. Josh first gravitated to chess after watching chess hustlers in New York's Washington Square Park play aggressive speed chess. He was drawn to their wild, aggressive, attacking style of chess. Everything Josh learned early on helped him be a better attacking player. But in his late teens, he put his faith in a grandmaster who had a very different style. A style of chess that suffocated the opponent by eliminating their options with perfect positional play. Josh likened it to an anaconda coiling around its prey, slowly killing it. This style felt foreign to Josh. He had loved moving games into a chaotic position and then finding a brilliant attack within the chaos by trusting his intuition. But now he was being told to think like someone else. By moving away from his natural inclinations and trying to mold himself to someone else's style, his love for chess vanished and he ultimately stopped competing. To sustain your love of learning, you must stay true to your style. To find your style, focus on what initially drew you to the discipline that you're trying to master. What captured your imagination and interest? Oftentimes, an initial interest is a person you admire. If you're a writer who gravitates to a certain writer's writing, mimic their style for a bit, and then expand on it to develop your own voice. The core idea is to take the discipline you're learning and turn it into a creative expression of your uniqueness. In the book, Josh says, I believe that one of the most critical factors in the transition to becoming a conscious high performer is the degree in which your relationship to your pursuit stays in harmony with your unique disposition. Universal learning principle number three, invest in loss. In the summer of 1994, Josh was midway through the final game of the under 18 world chess championship and his opponent offered him a draw and a chance to share the world championship. But Josh declined and pushed for the win. Soon after declining the draw, his position fell apart and he lost the match. Josh was heartbroken, but he used his pain as fuel to intensely study the game he'd just lost. 
After 10 hours of study, he uncovered a critical strategic error. In the mid-game, his knight was defending his king, but if he had subtly moved his knight away from his king and allowed his opponent to move in, he could use his opponent's aggression against him and create an opening for a counterattack. A decade later, he found himself in the finals of the Tai Chi Push Hands World Championship on the edge of defeat. His opponent's attacks were ferocious and overwhelming, and Josh felt helpless. But then he remembered the principle that he'd learned from that painful chess match many years ago. He made a slight adjustment and opened himself up to an attack which allowed him to use his opponent's aggression against him. It worked. Josh turned the match around and took home the Tai Chi Push Hands World Championship. Josh would have never invested so much time and energy into that chess match if he had not cared so deeply about winning and performing at the highest level. The art of learning is about enjoying the process of learning, but it's also about putting yourself on the line because the losses we experience when we compete provide the greatest insights and push us to get better. Losses generate pain, but that pain will provide the fuel to focus on the technical and psychological errors you've made and make corrections. The returns on putting yourself out there and investing in loss will either come in the form of better preparation, a new strategy you can deploy in future competitions, or a renewed drive to get better. In the end, remember the three universal learning principles, three ways of learning you can apply to a new discipline to ensure that you rise to the top 1% of that discipline. First, feel the fundamentals by isolating basic components of a discipline and then practicing them, not merely until you understand them, but until they feel natural. Then, stay true to your style by building on your initial interests and choosing teachers whose style you resonate with. It's okay to mimic a style at first, but you ultimately want to create your own style and express your unique personality through the discipline you're learning. And lastly, invest in loss. By routinely putting your ego on the line, by either seeking out competition or scheduling public performances. When you lose and perform poorly, use that pain as fuel to understand what happened and accelerate your personal growth. As Josh says, respond to heartbreak with hard work. That was the core message that I gathered from The Art of Learning by Josh Waitzkin. This book was immensely enjoyable to read and it offered deep insights into the learning process. I highly recommend it. If you would like a one-page PDF summary of insights that I gathered from this book, just click the link below and I'd be happy to email it to you. If you already subscribed to the free Productivity Game email newsletter, this PDF is sitting in your inbox. If you like this video, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching and have yourself a productive week.